Rain World Downpour is a DLC that added more content than the original game even had. From new slug cats, to enemies, to items, to lore, to game modes. But it also added plenty of new regions. Each of the new slug cats has at least one new region for its campaign. Spoilers for Downpour ahead, by the way, so if you don't want to be spoiled, leave now and come back some other time. Spearmaster has the Precipice and looks to the moon, Artificer has Metropolis and Waterfront Facility, Gourmand has Outer Expanse, Rivulet has Submerged Superstructure and The Rot, and Saint gets three whole new regions and a custom world state, Undergrowth, Silent Construct, and Rubicon. But Downpour added one more region that no one ever talks about. Pipe Yard. Pipe Yard is accessible by all the slug cats at any point in time. It connects all four corners of the map with a gate into and out of industrial complex, shoreline, sky islands, and subterranean. This seems super good at first glance. No more having to go all the way through farm arrays or through the water puzzles of shoreline to get into the end game. But Pipe Yard has its issues. For one, finding an entrance to it is very uncommon for newer players. Everyone I know who has played the game never even knew Pipe Yard existed in the first run of their game. Which is fair, each of the entrances to it are particularly hidden, making it really good if you know where they are, but inconsequential if you don't. Pipeyard's problem is that it's unnecessary. The whole region acts as a shortcut, basically. Here's an example. Say I'm playing Gourmand, right? And I need to get from five pebbles to subterranean. Farmerays? No. Fucking hate farmerays. So, just go to industrial and head through Pipeyard into subterranean. But here's the issue. I don't really need to. I could just go from industrial a drainage system through outskirts that also has an entrance to subterranean. And that's so much easier to get through. Pipe Yard has some crazy spawns which are almost entirely made of- I think we're no, good, I God. think we're good. Centipedes. Centipedes are everywhere, but that's not all. This region is also home to vultures, salamanders, black lizards, snails, jetfish, Fuck off! I'm actually about to die to jetfish. I hate these stupid assholes. King vultures in certain times, but this region isn't all bad. Food is relatively abundant. Slug cubs can spawn here. Even the threats of the murderous creatures that live here come with a bonus. The threat theme. The threat theme for Pipe Yard starts off with a tapping. Like you know something is wrong, it just triggers a primal urge that makes you uncomfortable. It constantly switches between pitches, that which warps the song. But then the kick kicks in. It adds a more serious tone to the piece, and makes it more noticeable in the game. Next, the shaker is added for minor threats like adult centipedes, although it doesn't add much on its own. Its presence is combined with the other two instruments that adds tension. Same with whatever this sound is. But with the bass, the song's tone changes once again to a more light-hearted sort of song. It still feels threatening, but it's like a joke fight. Sort of bouncy and boinky. Like a, like a, I don't know how to describe it. Like an electric rubber band, like that one Markiplier song. An alarm is added for suspension, but it also helps to convey the reason's identity as an abandoned above ground mining site. The arps are added, and the song begins to come together, adding real threat to it now. Finally, the song is finished by adding the synth to convey a mysterious and important aspect of Pike Yard. Combined with the rest of the theme, it creates a feeling I can only describe as a large danger in a mysterious abandoned dig site. Which is exactly what Pike Yard is. We know this for a few reasons. For one, the area has several drills and long tunnels. Second, Pike Yard has a pearl, which tells us about its history and the Void Fluid Revolution. This pearl is rather important as it tells us how refraction cells work as well. Finally, in that same pearl, Moon just straight up says, Did you get this from the abandoned mining site next to Farmeries? Which curiously doesn't have an entrance at the Pipe Yard. Huh. Pipe Yard's other music really adds to the desolation bit. It feels so soothing, yet so broken. 
Some feel more bouncy than others. None really feel upbeat. I'll play a little bit of each music track now. Now also feels like a good time to mention that Pike Yard contains a subregion, the Sump Tunnel. It acts just like a regular connector for Shoreline and Pike Yard, but it also tells us that the ancients didn't really care too much about not polluting the ocean. It's also full of water puzzles that showed me that I've gotten pretty good at the swimming mechanic in this game. I mentioned earlier that Pike Yard isn't very good for map traversal, its intended purpose, but that's not the full truth. While not that useful in most Slugcat campaigns, Pipe Yard can be a real lifesaver in Expedition, for example. Say you need to head to Farm Arrays as Artifice, but you don't want to pass the outskirts toll and you're coming from Shaded into Industrial Complex. Well, now you can just head through Pipe Yard into Sky Islands to not only pass the, both the Scav toll and Farm Arrays and Outskirts, but you also just skipped half of Farm Arrays. And we all know my opinion on Farm Arrays. Now I'd like to issue a challenge to those of you watching. I'm calling it the Pipe Yard Challenge because I don't want to waste my energy coming up with a name for it. Go to Expedition and equip the following quests. Pipe Yard Brawl delivered the looks to the moon. Earn 300 points from creature kills. Kill 8 small centipedes. Reach the vista point in Pipe Yard. Earn the outlaw passage. Play as Spearmaster and have fun. All the footage used in the background of this video is from that challenge. Nova is the gourmand teammate I had when before you ask, no, Bluey did not survive. Finally, I'll end the video with some audio of the challenge. Maybe I'll make a full video on it at some point, but probably not. If this video does well, though, I am probably going to make a video on Howling Rifts, too. Have a nice day. The spear just got sent to the back rooms. Oh. Uh, uh, Gabe, he's coming. You can't climb onto ones that are sticking to creatures. That's a jump. Oh, the child was smarter than me. Ain't no way you saw me, bitch. It's got the aggression of a centwing, Gabe. Which in some cases is a thousand times worse than a red centipede. Oh my god, oh. he actually said that. Bit. Drop him. That's cheap. Drop him. Drop him. You know, I was about to go up here and say anyone else want a piece of me. Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. No. No. Centipede. Don't try it. Centipede. No! And while those three are in there, that might give you an opportunity. Well, only one of them's gonna get it. Oh, I don't care. Wow. I saw that coming. Ah, oh, I I got a lily pad. I got a dead salamander. It's okay, child. Ignore him. That's just Tom. Tom's a douche. That's Alfred. Alfred's even more of an asshole, so we don't talk about Alfred.
I'm gonna teach child to be racist towards centipedes. So yeah, I guess that would be racism. Well, we're, we're, finally gonna, for, we're right? finally gonna head to the shoreline exit of Piper. No, oh, no, please, please. Okay, thank God. You're not going back down there. I'm not letting you. I will raise from the dead and I will fucking stab you. No! No. That's not fair! That's not fair! Kid! Child! Kid, save Child! Me. No, let go of the jellyfish, kid! Kid! <gasps> your life! Your life! Oh my god. What? <laughs> Snails are scary when you're playing Saint. Snail! Oh. Isn't that Jeff Wake in this room last time? We just fucking fell and died. Was oh wait, no, right, you juked him. I told you! I hate you. I hate you for being right. Fuck you. I love this! Why is there a snail even up here? Oh my uh, god, you have me as you do. No! No! Game, game, help! Game, game, stop! Say, say, calm down! Calm down, motherfucker! No! Child, 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 child! Yes, look, no, 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 save me, please. Yes, yes, snail, snail! Ah! No! no! Yep, that's He's what I thought. He's dead. Well, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and do something. Me too. Ah! Oh my god. That's a lot.